In this video, we're going to take an initial look at the each method and the this keyword. And we'll be using these throughout the series. So I just wanted you to get an initial feel for these. So just sort of soak this in. Now the each method is a jQuery method that allows you to loop through a bunch of elements. So as you can see here, I've specified the li element, which is in our second section. So we will be able to loop through each one of these elements. That's what it does. It basically retrieves all of the elements in your selector. And in this case, it's the li element. So that's what that does. And you can see it comes with a function, which we can put some code in. And that is to do whatever it is we want to do against those li elements. All the elements that are retrieved by our each method, which again, loops through all of the li elements on our page. And in this case, we're going to change the li element to tigers. And we're going to use the HTML method to do that. Now, you may be wondering, what is this, this, this keyword? You want to think of the this keyword as the placeholder for each current element for each loop. So the first loop refers to the first element in the jQuery selection, which of course is our li element. And then the second time through, it, it will refer to the second li element, which is wildcats. And then the third time through, it will use the third li element, which of course is sharks. And then it will change all of them to tigers. So think of it like a placeholder. That's all it is. And again, it represents this li element, but for each different loop. So the first time through again, it'll hit this li. The second time through, it'll hit this li. And then the third time through, it'll hit this li. So all it is is a placeholder for our li element for each time our each loop loops through. Now, each time you use the each loop, you almost always use the this keyword. They go hand in hand, like two peas in a pod. And again, since we have to loop through repetitive times, it makes sense to use this as a placeholder for our li element. So we don't have to write that li element out a million times. Now, in reality, we would likely be doing different things to each one of these li elements. But I wanted to keep this example simple because I just want you to understand the concept of what the each method does and what the this keyword does. So in this lecture, we are just going to perform the same task. So we will use the HTML method to change all the li elements to tigers. But later on, we will use the each method to perform a series of different actions against each of the elements. With that said, let's go ahead and hit this. Now, when we hit this, it'll happen really quick, of course, but we'll get three loops and it'll change this to tiger. So let's do it. And it worked. So that's how that works. I will see you guys in the next video.